Hello, I'm Mrs. Vilberg, and welcome to Makeup by the Vilbergs. Today we're creating this orange look. I hope you like it. Hey guys, goblins, creatures, and everyone in between. The Wilbergs here, and it's time for a new makeup tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to do a really quick orange nighttime makeup with our favorite products. And a few other tricks that are easy to do. Hope you like it. We start by covering the face. We're using two light color Kryolan Supper Color as a base. We highlight with white Supper Color and finally contour with two additional darker colors. After blending it out, I'm going to set the base for the eyeshadow. Circling the eye with yellow Supper Color followed by an orange pinkish color. I like doing this because it gives a great base for the eyeshadows later in the tutorial and it simply looks better and it's fun to do. Set the base with the translucent powder. We're using the perfect finish for maquillage. Make sure to pound it in really good so you don't smudge the contouring. Follow with a great blush. We're using one of our favorites, the Bright Coral Blush from Maquillage. We use this all the time, so it's a great tip for you to get if you're as pale as the missus. It's time to go in with the eyeshadows. Starting with a yellow color followed by an orange. I'm working around the eye both over and under. I am also trying to brush the eyeshadows up against the temples to give the eye a lift. I cut the eye crease using the same yellow supper color as I used before. Next step is to set the new eye crease. I'm using a yellow glitter from OCC Makeup to do it. Just gently dab it on with a soft brush. Brush off the residue and you have two brand new sparkling eyelids. I want to do a really pointy eyeliner for this look, so I'm using another favorite, the Dual Ended Marker from Pat McGraw. It might look weird to just do a point at the end, but the idea is to try to leave this sparkly eyelid as visible as possible and to fill in the blank space with a fuckload of eyelashes later. I think you'll get it soon. Remember to set the eyeliner with the black eyeshadow. Take a sharp brush and start connecting the eyeliner to the crease using a brown eyeshadow, both over and under the eye. Then you take the orange eyeshadow that you used before and blend out the brown. And then you just go back and forward until you like what you see. As I said before, we need some big lashes to even out the pointy eyeliner. So I'm stacking two pairs of big lashes from Grimoche for the top lashes. I really like how it looks, feminine but it's still dry. Make sure to connect the lash to your eye so it doesn't look like it's floating in the air by painting the space between the lash and the corner of your eye with a liquid eyeliner. I'm using the dip liner from Ellus because it has a sharp needle point and I like that. It's perfect for small details. Now when the top lashes are stacked and done, it's time for the bottom lashes. But I'm only using a smaller pair. These are also from Grimoche. We're going for a wet orange lip today, and the missus ordered a split lip, and who am I to argue? I'm drawing the contours of the lip with the lip pen rose from Peggy Sage and filling it up with a coral lipstick from Peggy Sage. And finally I make them wet and luscious with a fancy orange lip gloss from, you guessed it, Peggy Sage. The makeup is almost done now, we just need to pick up the colors again using the same blush as before. And finally highlights. We're using our all-time favorite, the Fine Gold 003 pigment from Pat McGraw. 
on the cheekbones and on the nose. The makeup is done and I put in my red contacts. So now it's time to put on a new wig that my husband made for me from Donna Love here and an outfit. See you soon. The look is complete and I love it. If you have any questions, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.